came from diamond to gold No matter where I go or what I buy I'm still a country boy in my soul So take me to the country Nothing but skies and pine Oh, follow me to the country Where we can have a real good time Well, the folks in the country don't live too fast Got good mannerism and spectacular class Take me to the country, nothing but skies and pines Oh, follow me to the country where we can have a real good time Take the cloud as your pillow the grass at your bed I know you smell the sweet aroma Of that hot water cornbread Take me to the country Nothing but skies and pines Oh, follow me to the country Where we can have a real good time Hey, welcome back to Timber Tuesday. We got a, a big job ahead of us today. We are going to salvage this big giant red oak tree here. And, uh, it was pushed down by a dozier, and, uh, the, but it's such a great tree. They really you know, hated to lose the tree, but it's kind of in a bad place where it's at. They're building a new house. So we're going to salvage this tree. It'll be some uh, timber for the sawmill, and it will be some, also some uh, uh, timber for the firewood processor. As you can hear them in the background, they're still working on this new house. So let's get to it. All right, I got my safety gear on, and I, I, that brings me to a new topic safety gear and should you wear it or should you not wear it well one of my viewers he he, he basically raked me over the coal pretty harsh for not wearing the proper safety gear when i show the chainsaws work and at first you know my my inner manhood was a little bit offended you know i am a man but then as i read his email uh and po or as a post as, after i read it you know continued to read on it i could tell the concern in it it wasn't him being a you know a butthead, he was had concern. And he also says, you know, that we put ourselves out here on YouTube in front of you guys, and we are setting an example. And even though I don't consider myself a pro, I have used a chainsaw a lot, but there are other people out there who have used the chainsaw a lot less than I have. So we are, you know, putting ourselves out there and people may do what we do. So if I'm not wearing my uh, chainsaw chaps, my, my helmet and my gloves and the things that I, you know, and using proper chainsaw safety, then I'm setting a bad example. And maybe someone with even less experience than me may use that example and hurt themselves. All right, here, here, here is the tree that's down. This is a big red oak tree that went down. Uh, it was pushed over with a dozier. Now these are dangerous, and the reason I say that is this tree probably weighs somewhere on the lines of 20 to 30 tons. Uh, that's a lot of weight, and some of that weight is sitting on each one of these lower branches that's holding it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off all of the top weight. These trees or these limbs that are hanging up right here, we know there's nothing, there's no weight on them uh, other than the weight of the, of the limb itself. It will fall basically straight to the ground. So just keep that in mind when you come to a big tree like this, if you start cutting a bottom limb that's holding the weight of the tree up, sometimes that thing will spring loose and literally break your leg. Uh, it's been a many people with legs broke because of that.
I'm a little out of breath. I am no pro arborist. Uh, I'm not even a timber guy, a real good timber guy. But I'm gonna tell you my, my, uh, another safety tip, take a break. I'm not used to holding that big saw all day. So work till you get tired, turn it off, set it down, take a break, come back. It's when you get tired that we make the mistakes, especially me, I, I, that's my weakness. I'll make a mistake when I get tired. So I'm gonna take a little water break and we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna to continue to answer questions on Timber Tuesday. If you have a question, go ahead and post it in a post or email us or instant messages and we'll do our best to answer your question on Timber Tuesday. The last thing we got is, what is the basket thing on the back of your tractor? Well, the basket thing is a big tool rack. It's basically a weight ballast, a pickup truck bed, a tool holder, anything that you can think about you know, you're gonna be outside working and it's got a chainsaw holder, it's got places to put your axes and it's got places to put your yard implements. It's got places for everything. And in addition to that, it has mounts in the front where you can put suitcase weights on, suitcase weights, it's really hard for me to say, suitcase weights on the front of it, which gives you an additional ballast for the tractor. So when you lift up the loader, you have the weight in the back of the tractor to not wanna lift the back wheels off the ground. So it's a, it's a big plus. So that's what it is. I appreciate you answering that, or asking that question and we'll answer the next ones as soon as we get them. so hard to guess the twist and the pressures on this thing and right now that dude is twisted and there's lots of pressure on this
Well, I don't know if you can see this or not. It's getting pretty dark here. Uh, it's almost, well, it is five o'clock here in, in West Tennessee, and this is uh, after daylight savings time. So it's, it's we're, we're getting pretty dark. This log is 14 foot long, and it's about 20, uh, 24 inches on this end, and it's about uh, 26 inches on this end. And Big Red ain't got nothing for it. Uh, this thing will pick up like well over 2,000 pounds. That log's probably gonna be along the lines of 3,000 pounds, so it's well beyond its capabilities. So I think what we're gonna do is shorten the log uh, and just make it into two manageable pieces. But that's gonna have to be for another Timber Tuesday. Hey, I appreciate you watching our channel. If you, please feel free to make comments, point out mistakes. I have no problem with that whatsoever. God bless and have a great evening.